All right, guys, welcome back to God's Country Shooting Outdoors. Wanted to follow up a little bit. Probably won't take a whole, whole lot of time, but I wanted to follow up and give you a little bit more about the bullets that I shot in the three guns. We're going to start off with the 6.5 PRC. I know it's been a few days. I've uh, been trying to sneak in a little bit of hunting myself. Um, so we're going to start with the first bullet that we shot, which was the Hornady. Uh, Precision Hunter ELDX. I am going to take a minute to show you this. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can. Maybe you can pause that and read it. Anyway, so this is the results. The Hornady Precision Hunter 143 grain ELDX um, so this is the bullet the lead actually came out but I found it uh, there is the results of the bullet so um, it ain't horrible but it ain't great either so um, the recovered bullet weight is 143 grains um, the bullet weight after I put it on the scale was 72.2 grains. That means it had a 49.5% weight retention. So, it's not the best, but it ain't bad either. Next one was the Federal Fusion Bonded Soft Point at 140 grains. This, this is the bullet. And then the, this is the back side. You can kind of tell a little bit more about it. Um, it did pretty good. It, it, I can't complain too much about that one. The bullet that was recovered, this one, um, scaled in at 98.7 grains. Um, you know, it was a 140 grain bullet. So it weighed in um, and uh, retained. 70.5% of its energy or weight retention. So that's that's pretty good weight retention on that one. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I was actually pretty impressed with it. Um, I'm going to save the best for last. Uh, and I, I, I'm going to talk more about that. So we're going to go ahead and go to the number four, the normal whitetail 140 grain soft point. Um, this actually goes back in there pretty good um, that's actually what it looks like um, so it actually um, if I can hold it 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 mushrooms pretty well uh, it did pretty good so 140 grain bullet it weighed in at 105.4 grains is what was left that's what's right there 104 104 or 105.4 grains so with it weighing it at 105.4 grains that means it had a weight retention of 75.3 percent that's pretty impressive for a soft point I gotta be honest um, there are some guns I've got that the normal whitetail doesn't shoot that great in but every one of the bullets so far has performed really well um, I mean, when I think about the normal Whitetail 140 versus a Horny Precision at 143 grain uh, bullet, it had a weight retention of 49.5 versus 75.3% in the uh, normal Whitetail. That's, that's a lot of weight retention difference. So I was really impressed with uh, the Whitetail, the normal Whitetail ammo so far. But this, by all means, is the best. Uh, the mushroom probably would have been a little wider had it not had its last little bit of water pushing it back. Uh, most all of them have starred out really well. Um, so it's not bad. Alright, so that is the Hornady Outfitter 130 grain CX bullet, copper bullet. It had 
weighed in, this bullet weighed in, 130 grains, that weight right there is 127.6 grains. It had a weight retention of 98.1%. Now something I have learned about my little setup I've got is I can kind of tell when I look down in the, the top of it about how far that those bullets travel and float to the bottom and kind of get an idea of how far the pass through is um, in that bucket. And the bucket's 35 and a half inches from the lid that I shoot through to the back end of it. And I've started noticing that these different bullets will travel and float to the bottom at different at different, you know, uh, uh, lengths into the bucket. Um, the 350, I'll talk about a little bit later, but it, you know, about 14 to 16 inches as far into the water as they're traveling before dropping off. Uh, these 6.5 uh, PRCs were traveling 24, 20 to 24 inches. Um, so, what I want to say is, uh, of all of these bullets, the normal whitetail probably looked the best. We it retained good weight, but these copper bullets are just really amazing me at the weight retention that they're holding and uh, how well that they've been uh, performing as far as mushrooming out really well. Um, if I was going with a copper bullet. Uh, there's different ones that has them, but I'm, I'm really, the more I keep shooting these copper bullets, the CX and TTSXs and different ones, I'm really impressed with how they're performing. Um, of the four, yeah, two did really great. Two did pretty good. I mean, I have no doubt that you could take deer with any of them. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really, I really like the way that the copper bullets are performing. And again, you know, the uh, the Federal Fusion bonded, it, it did really well too. I mean, 98.7 grains, 70% weight retention. That's, that's pretty good. Um, but the winner, the winner in this group is definitely the Hornady, Hornady CX number two, the normal whitetail. And Federal Fusion came in at number three, and the ELDX Precision Hunter, number four of these. So uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of information. All of these shot pretty good through this gun. I don't remember exactly. I've shot so much I don't remember the groups very well. But uh, the energy between these uh, is is really good. I didn't go too deep into it. You can go back and pause the video and kind of look at what the velocities, the energies are. That's all based on the box. I mean, that's that's not conograph data that I've got. I don't have a conograph. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty fun test. The 6.5 PRC, it really, really surprised me at how well that it done. And... Uh, yeah, I, I can definitely, um, I've took a hunting a couple times. So far, I haven't been able to take what I'm looking for yet with it. Um, but I also haven't got to do a whole lot of hunting like I'd hoped to this year. So anyways, uh, we'll move on to another video. Thank you for joining me. Remember, love God, love your country, love your family, and love to hunt. Until next time, take care.